Hello, in this Blastem video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your Xbox controller to your, you know, Blastem emulator. And I'm going to show you, you know, what you need to do depending on what controller you have. So if you've got an Xbox 360 controller, there is, you know, a couple of different ways. You could either use the wired controller, so Xbox 360 wired, and you just, that is just plug and play. You plug it in. Any drivers that need to be installed get installed automatically. You're all good to go. If you have a wireless controller, you cannot use one of these charger cables. Even though there's a USB on the other end, it only transfers power, not data. Therefore, it cannot. It does not work. So you, what you will need is a dongle. You cannot use your computer's Bluetooth. You need one of these 360 dongles. And you might already have one, great. If not, obviously there are some, I think knockoffs, I think the ones that say just X360 on knockoffs compared to ones that just uh, say Microsoft. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I've always known the Microsoft ones to be, you know, the legit ones. But yeah, you just connect in, press that button on there. It's like pressing the sync button on your 360 and on your 360 controller, you press the sync button and it all connects. That's 360 done. If you have an Xbox One, you can just plug in a micro USB cable, the other end into your computer, you're all good to go for wired. For wireless, <laughs> this is where it gets a bit sort of annoying. I'll provide a link to this website. This shows you how to identify which Xbox One controller you have. If you have an older one, then you won't have Bluetooth, you'll have a proprietary wireless technology. Therefore, what you'll need is an Xbox One dongle. This is a different dongle. So if you want to use 360 wireless controller and a Xbox One older model wireless controller, you need two dongles, unfortunately. Okay, so you need one of these dongles. You just press the, the you know, there's a couple of different ones. Like I've got this bigger one. You press the button at the side, goes into sync mode, and then you press the sync button at the top here for a few seconds. This light will start flashing, and then it's all synced. If you have an Xbox One controller that has Bluetooth, you just connect it via Bluetooth. You use your built-in Bluetooth or a cheap dongle, press the sync button on your controller, go into your Bluetooth settings and go into, you know, pairing mode or, you know, finding mode, searching mode, and locate your controller, which is what I'm going to show you in a second. But before I do that, let me cover the Xbox Series controllers. For wired, you plug in a USB-C cable or the end into your computer, boom, done. For wireless, it's the same as the Xbox One Bluetooth controller, where, let me show you right now. You open up, you say Bluetooth. You can go to the older devices and printers menu and go to add a device, or you can go to add Bluetooth or other device, put this into pairing mode by pressing the sync button for about five seconds, and this light will start flashing. It's flashing, click Bluetooth, Click Xbox wireless controller. This will turn solid once it's connected. Boom, there we go. As an extra, and this is the same with your Xbox One Bluetooth controller. As an extra step, I always like to go to set up USB game controllers. Then here, if he appears there and you go to properties and you do, you press buttons, move analog sticks, as long as it works, you're all good to go. So now let's open up Blastem. Recommend that you connect this controller before, you know, whatever controller you have before you launch your blast. I mean, you might not detect it otherwise. So let's launch it up. Okay, so go to settings and you want to go to controllers. It's automatically detected the controller. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, let me, let me show you. See if it is in app data over here. Um, where does Blastem get stored? Literally search for Blastem. Oh, that's not it. Uh, strange. I did delete this folder, so I'm just trying to think where the app data is stored. Let me have a quick Google of this.
where is blast blastem app data stored Update to local the local folder here. Okay, so let me open that up again. Let me go to local to see users app. Uh, Update is not appearing, so I need to show hidden items. Just appear now, and I go to local. Blast them. There we go. I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, so this will probably appear. No SDL2 mapping exists for input A on gamepad 1, or any of the inputs, but that's what it says. Go to settings. Go to controllers to appear, but there is only one. So if you click to X input controller, select the controller type you have. So Xbox One or 360. And so if you say Xbox Series, do Xbox One. So Xbox One, it says select the layer that best matches your controller. Four face buttons or six face button, which includes RB and RT. So just these two or these two. I'm going to go with this one. And that's it, it's automatically mapped the controls. And we can't really do more, you know, anything to it, but there's all, here are all the controls, click back. And just say for use for first controller, use as default size, say use for first controller. You don't need to do anything with that. You can just leave that as is. So if I go back and if I load the ROM up now, so if I go to NBA, launch this up. Still loading. Oh my! He's on fire! He's on fire! Okay, so I'll just press start. I think it goes up and down. You don't need to map anything, does it automatically? Press A. I'll press start for this. And then it's asking, do you want to enter your initials? Don't want to enter the initials. Just want to get into the game, show you it working. Press A again. I think it's press start for this, sorry. And if you had a second controller, you could press start and actually play, you know, versus each other as well. If you play an NBA or if you're playing some other game as well. So feel free to do that. And here we go. And there we go. It's automatically detected. I've got an analog stick and it works with that. Or you can use the D-pad to move around, which is fantastic. Obviously, the functionality will vary depending on what game you want. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I just paused it. There we go. So that is the Blaster emulator. That's how you connect the Xbox controller up. And this little, little tidbit. If you go to Bluetooth settings, to remove it, you go to your controller, click remove device. This will go, click yes. This light will turn off. Boom, that's how you remove it from your device. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. There's a Blastem Discord channel on there. And I look forward to seeing you in the next emulator video. Bye-bye.